Hey everybody, thanks as always for tuning in to P-Dubs Arcade Loft, where we always appreciate it when you come and hang out upstairs with us. Earlier tonight, I was on uh, Game Time over on the Tech Buzz channel, hanging out with Glenn's Retro Show, the Tech Buzz, and also Wild Bill from Bill's Retro Gaming channel, having a good conversation, talking about what's going on in the world of home arcades. Just wanted to do hop on real quick. Uh, gonna kind of do this video as if it was a produced video versus a live stream because I got some other stuff that I'm working on that I want to edit and uh, and get published and posted for you guys. It's a little more uh, higher impact news, et cetera. But it's interesting to see that Arcade went up earlier. Uh, not Arcade went up. My apologies. Let's say Code Mystics. Code Mystics, who are the developers who uh, set up the Killer Instinct cabinet for Arcade went up, uh, did a big announcement today talking about uh, this particular uh, arcade cabinet getting a firmware feature update that's actually live now. There's a live beta that you could join to access spectating mode and a couple of other features on this particular cabinet. And I wanted to kind of take a look at this with you guys together because the information's fresh for me and kind of see like, hey, man, maybe is this good news? Is this bad news? Should we even care? And all that kinds of stuff. So let's kind of Let's kind of uh, take a peek here together at this. So this particular um, website, and the link is in the video description below. They say, hey, Code Mystics, uh, spectating mode is live now. Um, they tested it with members of the community, um, and you can use this and check it out. And, of course, they have this huge disclaimer saying, hey, Arcade 1UP really doesn't have anything to do with this. This is This is us doing this. Uh, on our own, pro bono, if you will, uh, to for the community. So, in, in all honesty, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, that's actually that's actually pretty cool. Like, if you can't fault them for that, like Arcade One Up, the, like really, the only negative thing you can say is like, hey man, when this cabinet was released, spectating mode should have been included on the cabinet when it was originally released, right? It should have been like. Arcade One Up should really make sure, like, hey, all of our fighting games, if they're going to be online enabled, should be uniform, all the features, right? All the features that come included, whether it's spectating mode, lobbies, all that kinds of stuff. Whatever developers working on it say, hey, here's our punch list of items, and we want to make sure that all of these items um, are the same uh, across every single cabinet. And we haven't seen that from Arcade One Up. We've seen some cabinets have more features than others, etc. But the fact that they didn't have it on there when the cabinet was originally released, and now it's being added, but it's being added courtesy of Code Mystics. That's pretty cool on Code Mystics part, right? Apparently, if you want to get access to this, all you have to do is when you're on your Arcade 1UP Killer Instinct cabinet, hit the live button and go down and type in join beta underneath the favorites. And when you add this join beta as a favorite, after you search for it, you'll then get access to it and you'll be in this particular thing. And then you're going to get this pop-up saying, Hey, you're in our spectating mode, uh, beta, etc. What do you want to do? Do you want to opt out? Yada, yada, yada. You guys can read all this on your own time. Now, when I look at this, um, I can't find anything that would really raise any red flags. Like, honestly, this all sounds pretty cool, especially for big fans out there of the retro fighting game community who've been waiting for somehow, some way to host tournaments with the community, get the tournament, get the community more involved, get gamers more involved playing against each other on their arcade one-up cabinets, and to also watch and learn from maybe more experienced players. Some of the cool things that they are including are uh, down here. You'll see where it says uh, Jeff Dev versus CM Dev. It will uh, capture the win-loss record. So let's say you're playing games and you're like, hey, man, let's play first to five, right? It, you can track that. And then when you, uh, and also it'll track the stats uh, as well. Um, here's what's interesting is choose a new setting for show online match info. So you can select always, never, only with the live menu. That's kind of interesting. But basically what happens is if I'm looking at this correctly is there's really not going to be lobbies like what you've seen on the other arcade one up cabinets out there. Uh, that have the online fighting. So it's not going to be a lobby, but I guess what will happen is when you're here, you'll be able to see that, hey, man, if there's this little eyeball here, that means I can go in. Let's just say um, 
there's two people fighting against each other. If there's an eyeball here, well, that means you can click on it and then you can spectate. You can spectate. You can hop in there and you can kind of watch the match unfold. And um, what's funny is, um, so like right here, you've joined as a spectator, press start, et cetera. And uh, you could also be, while you're spectating, if you press start, you can then join the queue to play next. So it's like, I got next, right? So that's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. Um, so you could be in the queue. But what I loved is, um, hold on here. I, I got to show you guys this. This is, uh, so let's say you're getting your butt kicked, right? Let's say you've been playing the same guy and you're like, okay, I lost five or six times. This guy or gal, she's really good here. She's really good. I want to watch them fight the next person. So like if you leave the game, you could just go back to the main menu or you could leave the game, but stay and watch and watch them spectate uh, for the next particular uh, match that they do. So that's pretty cool. But I really love the kicking out. So what's funny, too, is now they have the, the, this is really cool. Now, I'll be honest, guys, I think that this is probably the coolest part about this is the winner gets the ability to kick people out. So I guess before on, at least on the killer instinct cabinet, and keep in mind, guys, I don't have this cabinet. I guess, you know, the, you couldn't kick people out. Like, so for instance, like if you start a game and people keep joining you because you're like hosting the game, like you could kick people out, whether you're winning or losing, right? You could kick them out of your game. But they're changing it to now where, like, if you are the winner, let's say you and I fight against each other, and let's say I started the game, you joined me, well, guess what? You can then kick me out. So it's like the winner gets the kick out rule. Like, you know, boot them, send them on their way. So I thought that was pretty cool as well, right? Um, and uh, either way, you know, if someone wants to start a game, you know, it's the same stuff. You guys could just read this article. Plus, I believe uh, Console Kits did a big live stream with a, with a lot of members of the community and all that stuff. You can enter passcodes, et cetera. So basically, in a nutshell, um, Code Mystics is doing something that, in my personal opinion, is a good thing. Like, you really can't say this is a bad thing. Like, this is pretty cool. Like... They did this apparently for free, like they did this free of charge. They wanted to make sure people who use this cabinet that they're very proud of helping develop um, are, are happy with it and have the features that the community asked for last year while well, they're finally getting it. Like there's really, there's nothing to, like I can't find a negative thing. The only negative thing I could possibly say about this is the fact that it should have had this stuff back when the cabinet was originally released a year ago. Like it was an opportunity missed. Arcade One Up should make sure that all the cabinets have all the same features, no matter what developers working on it. Say, hey, we want this, 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 and this, because this is what our community wants. That's it. But you're getting it now. Maybe some people are going to say it's too little, too late, et cetera. But, you know, I can't, I, I really think that this is pretty cool. Like, I don't have the Killer Instinct cabinet, have no interest in buying the Killer Instinct cabinet. But for those of you who have the cabinet and you like doing the online fighting game tournaments, and also if you like just kicking back and watching other people fight so you can kind of pick up tips, pick up tips and tricks and skill sets and combos, and you don't want to sit there and watch like YouTube videos like, how do I play as this character? How do I do this character? You just kind of like watch these people play who are really good at the game. You know, a lot of people like doing that stuff. A lot of fighting game enthusiasts. Apparently, there were a number of people involved in this, including a whole bunch of beta testers. Uh, Travis MCP, uh, someone named Career High, She Lion Gaming. I love She Lion Gaming. OTG UAG. Tony McPartland, Killer Arcade Games. We all love Killer Arcade Games. And oh, look at this! Plus, a member of Team Encoder got involved as well. So that's pretty cool. Guys, what's been your reaction to uh, this particular news uh, from uh, Arcade One Up today? Are you guys happy about this? Are you guys upset about this? Are you guys, do you guys just not care? Like me, like, I think it's a good thing. Like, I can't find anything negative to say about this, except it's uh, it's a bit late. <laughs> 
uh let me uh killer arcade games he's one of our testers what's up buddy guys make sure you check out killer arcade games on youtube especially if you're into fighting games see this guy's like a fighting game expert me i'm only good at like mortal Kombat games he's good at every fighting game he's good at every fighting game console fanboy says he's happy for fans depressed uh, for ki fans depressed for mk fans yeah can we get the same treatment on the mortal Kombat cabinet give me a reason to go turn on my mortal Kombat 30th cabinet something of that in information torrent virus said i was disappointed after the countdown but i appreciate the efforts uh, i'm assuming you were hoping for some kind of bigger type news something more spectacular uh let me know in the live chat buddy uh evil genius is here uh hopefully coming to street fighter and mortal Kombat. yeah why not man why not travis mcp says there's so many good fights going on right now are you talking about on the arcade cabinet itself uh are people already spectating ritual dell is here what's up buddy one of my favorites endless one up says that's very cool of code mystics like dude it's something they didn't have to do apparently they didn't get paid for it i mean that's pretty cool in my opinion uh nooner love nooner he's not really into killer instinct as much but he thinks it's pretty cool it would be great for blitz too yeah let's get that done let's get that done okay the only thing i gotta say all right i gotta bust some balls here all right i gotta bust some balls because you know what guys like i appreciate the hype i'm all about generating hype like when there's stuff happening in this community you guys if you've been following this channel i'm one of the hype kings like when I get excited about something, I like to generate hype and buzz for it and stuff like that. The only thing I got to say is this. All right. Hold on. I'm going to bust some balls here. And keep in mind, it's just ball busting. So don't take it personally. But let's go here. Let me uh, switch my screens here. <coughs> A couple of these guys. Uh, let's do this. A couple of these guys who were involved in this testing and everything. A couple. I'm not going to name names. But a couple of you who are in the list made some videos this week going like, what is the announcement? What's happening? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I have no clue. Here's my guesses, blah, blah, blah. Guys, if you know what's going on, if you're involved in it, don't make those videos. Don't make those videos pretending you don't know. Everybody hates that. I hate that. You know, if you, I tell people, if I know what's going on, I don't make a video pretending I don't know what's going on. Right. I mean, come on, come on. It makes you look silly when later on the news comes out and they say right here in writing that you knew what was going on. <laughs> so that's just me busting their balls. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, I don't know what this announcement's going to be. I have no clue yet. They do, you know, like, come on, man. Just be honest. Just be honest. The community appreciates honesty. So minus that ball busting. Um, overall, I think this is a very nice thing for Code Mystics. Very nice thing for these arcade one-up killer instinct cabinets. And hell, apparently a lot of you got them for what? 200, 300 bucks, something like that uh, during this holiday season. So good for you guys, man. Good for you. Uh, Maximilian dude got sucked in. No, don't say that. Don't say that. There you go. All right, let me get this off the screen here, guys. All right, speak now and forever hold your peace, my dudes. Speak now, forever hold your peace. Was today a win for Arcade One Up and Code Mystics? Is this exciting news? Now, keep in mind, it is a beta, and they did say on their website here, again, links in the video description below if you prefer to get your information via written form. It does say uh, that, hey, man, this is all on us. If there's any issues, any bugs, Report them to us. Don't go reporting it to Arcade One Up. Arcade One Up, it's their product, but they're handling the firmware. They're handling all the bugs, the issues, all that kinds of stuff. So, all that stuff. Ritual Dell says, Killer Instinct fans can rejoice. It's definitely a win. All that kinds of stuff. Let me know, guys. Was it a win? Was it a loss? It's taking a minute for the live chat to come through. Um, I don't think it was a bad thing. I think it's pretty cool. And something to add to Mortal Kombat. Add this to Mortal Kombat. That would be great. I would love to see this community host some Mortal Kombat tournaments. Where's the Mortal Kombat love? Where's the Mortal Kombat love? Why is it only Capcom and now Killer Instinct getting all the love? 
Keon's here. Haven't seen you in a while, my friend. Win for me. Screw one up. That's kind of funny. Uh, better late than never. There you go. And yes, let's get that update to Mortal Kombat 30th. So what's funny is, um, although like Mortal Kombat and Killer Instinct are made by two different developers, what happens is, is that user interface, the way the windows look, you notice they look very similar when you look at the Killer Instinct screen here. Let's pull it up here. Let me grab it for you guys. Um, so here's the UI. So let's let's put this on the screen. Uh, so when you're looking at the user interface for these cabinets, oh, it's this button. Nope, this button. Oh, I got to turn that on. Duh. When you're looking at the user interface here for these uh, particular arcade cabinets, uh, it's right here. You'll notice this looks almost identical to the user interface that they use on, let's say, the Mortal Kombat 30th cabinet. Well, that's because Code Mystics, I guess, developed this UI and they kind of like lease it out, let other people use it, right? So even though it looks just like how it looks on the MK 30th cabinets and all that stuff, it's a totally different developer behind the scenes just using this UI uh, that they've kind of like leased out, I should say, something of that nature. Versus, you know, it's not Code Mystics themselves working on the Mortal Kombat cabinet. Totally different developer. Totally different developer. And I hope that this isn't true, uh, console fanboy, because uh, Mortal Kombat needs it. Mortal Kombat needs the love. It needs the love. Stardust says, Code Mystics for the win. There you guys go. All right, let's get this off the screen right here. So... Overall, guys, I mean, I don't want to keep you guys any longer than this. Uh, pretty interesting news coming out of the Code Mystics front. Very nice of them to add this feature to the Arcade 1-Up Killer Instinct cabinet, supposedly free of charge. And uh, whatchamacallit, um, for those of you who are big Killer Instinct fans, hopefully you'll find this news exciting. You'll get spectate mode, and uh, there's other features built into this besides just spectate mode. The ability to, you know, like if you win in a room, you can kick people out. You know, uh, it, it, and all that kinds of stuff. Like you have more control than you did before. And uh, yeah, the winner, it's called the winner kick privilege. I find that pretty funny. So once you pass the game over screen, whoever won the last match gets to use the kick option in the live menu. This means that spectators can stay with the winner in an online match as they fight a succession of worthy opponents. Of course, you can still voluntarily leave at any time if you win, but the kick option is found as before within live menu by highlighting your opponent and giving them the boot. And take a look at the boot right here. It's pretty funny. Here's the boot. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you beat somebody, you can then kick them out. Kick them out. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. All right, let's get this off of here. Overall, it's been a pretty uh, interesting day uh, in the world of home arcades. Make sure you guys check out the replay of Game Time. Unfortunately, She Lion Gaming, my thoughts and prayers go out to you. I know you had a bit of a family emergency tonight. She wasn't able to be on that podcast show. The boys there reached out to me, asked me to help out. So we did a show together. I helped them out, and I thought it was a pretty good show. I ended up having a really good time hanging out with Steven, uh, the Tech Buzz, Glenn's Retro Show and uh, Bill's Retro Gaming Show. So we, make sure you guys go check out the replay. We had a really good conversation about this stuff, and uh, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Well, I mean, it's it's kind of like a King of the Mountain, you know what I mean? It's kind of like King of the Mountain type rules. Let's see what uh, Ritual Dello says. If Code Mystics was smart, they'd develop an API interface for all the cabinets and charge a few bucks a month to access all the spectator modes on the games there you go yep big big thoughts to she lying gaming hopefully everything is going good there um also guys if you're uh fans of my channel uh well actually no i'm sorry um not my channel um if you guys are interested in this fighting game community which you know sometimes i'll sponsor some of these tournaments sometimes i'll put up my own money for you guys to win uh to give you something fun exciting to be a part of uh, make sure you guys uh, check out Moat Plays on YouTube. My buddy Moat, Mike of All Trades, he's going to be uh, hosting some of these tournaments for Killer Instinct. Now that he's got spectating mode, he'll be able to spectate the matches, call the matches, 
broadcast the matches, I think, stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in that stuff, etc., I do miss Rev. I'll be honest, guys, I miss Rev a lot. Um, and that's not a shot at anyone else who hosts these tournaments. I just thought Rev did a really good job. So if you guys know Rev, put your quarters on the glass. I hope you come back in the future because I did enjoy watching you call matches. And uh, it'd be really nice to see Rev again. Uh, as part of this community. I think enough time has passed where we can all be adults and just move on and just have fun and play games together. I mean, that's what this should this community should be all about. Hope that makes sense. Anyway, my dudes, uh, do me a favor. If you caught this on replay, because this is late at night, uh, y'all sleeping. No one's watching this show right now. Uh, make sure tomorrow morning you let me know if you're excited about this or if you're not excited about it. We definitely appreciate your feedback. If you enjoyed this quick live stream make sure you give me a thumbs up on the way out and as always my dudes thank you for subscribing uh starting tomorrow i'm gonna have a lot of content on virtual pinball uh carrying over to multi mondays on my multi mondays podcast show we're gonna be doing i got a couple vpx experts coming on the show we're gonna be doing a virtual pinball special so anything you wanted to know about running fx3 vpx future pinball bring your questions and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun talking about virtual pinball um, over the over the rest of the week. So that's kind of what I'm into right now. So anyway, guys, you guys have a great day and we'll be talking to you real soon. Have a good night, everybody.